Here are the top 10 reasons why you got fired. Number 10, you got fired for damaging company property. Firing an employee for damaging company property is not merely a punitive measure. It is a necessary step to maintain trust and financial stability. In the business world, maintaining company property and assets is paramount to the success of the company. Employees are trusted with the responsibility of safeguarding these assets and any negligence or deliberate damage to company property can result in you getting fired. Number nine, you got fired for drug and alcohol possession. Employees who are drunk, high, or otherwise impaired at work will cause more harm than good. Intoxicated or impaired employees are at an increased risk of accidents and injuries. The actions of an impaired employee can endanger not only themselves, but also their coworkers and even the general public in certain professions. Employers have a duty to ensure a safe work environment and allowing employees to be under the influence of substances jeopardizes this obligation and, in some cases, open the company up to litigation, which is why you probably got fired. Number eight, you got fired for making threats against employees. Firing an employee for making threats against their colleagues is a measure taken to protect the safety, well-being, and morale of all employees and to maintain a harmonious and productive workplace. When threats are made against employees by their colleagues, it poses a significant risk to the workplace environment. Employers are responsible for maintaining a safe atmosphere and when employees make threats against their coworkers, getting fired may become necessary. Employers have a duty to address threats promptly, comprehensively, and in accordance with established policies and procedures. So when you make threats, you get fired. Number seven, you got fired for falsifying company records. Firing an employee for falsifying company records is not only about punishment, it is a necessity to uphold integrity, trust, and accountability in the workplace. The integrity of a company's records and documentation is fundamental to its operations, compliance, and reputation. Falsification of records can have legal, financial, and reputational repercussions for both the employee and the company. Employers have a responsibility to maintain accurate records and comply with regulations to protect their long-term success. Number six, you got fired for insubordination. Insubordination is when an employee refuses to follow instructions from a supervisor or shows disregard for established workplace policies. Firing an employee for insubordination is not a decision made lightly by employers. It is a necessary step to maintain a well-ordered and productive workplace. If you got fired for insubordination, you challenged authority, you disrupted workflow, and you negatively impacted team morale and company performance. Employers have a responsibility to uphold the principles of discipline, respect, and adherence to company policies. By doing so, they ensure a harmonious and effective work environment that benefits both the organization and its employees. Number five, you got fired for misconduct. Employee misconduct encompasses a wide range of unacceptable behaviors. A few examples of employee misconduct are harassment, discrimination, sabotage, and negligence. Employee misconduct can disrupt the workplace environment and damage an organization's reputation. Employers have a duty to address and rectify employee misconduct to ensure a safe, respectable, and productive work environment. By holding employees accountable for their actions and upholding workplace standards, organizations protect their employees and preserve their own integrity and reputation. Some misconduct is so bad, the only option that makes sense is to fire the employee. Number four, you got fired for incompetence. Employers have a legitimate expectation that their employees will perform their job duties competently and effectively. When an employee consistently falls short in meeting the required standards, you will get fired. Employers hire employees with the expectation that they possess the skills, knowledge, and abilities necessary to perform their job duties. When an employee repeatedly demonstrates an inability to fulfill these requirements, it can hinder the organization's operations. Employees who struggle with their tasks or responsibilities may slow down workflow, leading to delays in projects, missed deadlines, and decreased efficiency. Employers should address issues of incompetence in a fair and consistent manner. With that being said, there may come a point where firing the employee is the best course of action. Number three, you got fired for stealing. Employee theft is a multifaceted issue with various underlying motivations. 
Understanding what employees will steal and why they steal is essential for companies to develop prevention strategies. Companies will never reach their maximum profitability if assets are constantly stolen. So to reduce the chance of an employee stealing, companies must implement robust internal controls and conduct thorough background checks during the hiring process. I'm not gonna sit here and say that stealing from companies will go away if this is done. Just know that if you get caught stealing, chances are you will get fired. Number two, you got fired for using company property for personal business. The workplace is a setting where employees are entrusted with the responsible use of company resources and assets to fulfill their job duties. However, when employees misuse company property for personal gain or non-work related activities, it raises significant ethical and operational concerns. Employers have a duty to ensure that company property is used for legitimate business purposes and addressing misuse is essential to protect the organization's financial stability, reputation, and ethical standards. I know someone who used company property to complete side hustle projects. They didn't get fired, but they got in a whole lot of trouble. Eventually, they, they did get fired. Number one, you got fired for attendance issues. Reliable attendance is crucial to ensure the smooth operation of an organization. However, when employees consistently demonstrate attendance issues, it can lead to significant disruptions and may ultimately result in operational disruption, a negative effect on team dynamics, and you getting fired. Employees are expected to meet their attendance obligations as outlined in their company policies. Consistent attendance issues can literally piss off other employees, creating a scramble to find someone to do your work. I got fired back in the 1980s for number four, missing sales goals. Let me know in the comment section below why you got fired. Thanks for watching. If you wanna know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.